Hey guys, welcome to 90 Films, 90 Days Part 4. Day 46 was uh, The Grinch on VHS. Yeah, it's a fun little flick, I like it. It's not amazing. Sometimes it feels like just, you know, oh, we need like a film for Jim Carrey just to goof off and do his thing in. It kind of feels like that sometimes and he kind of goes over the top a bit. But little Cindy Lou is so cute and it's, you know, it's a little heartfelt, nice, cute little story. Great sets, well, fantastic sets actually. You know, fun characters, just an enjoyable little film. Um, that was a 6 out of 10. Then, day 47, I watched Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. Uh, this is a far superior sequel, I think. Just really expands on the characters and the mythology. Just really fantastic sets, and, and the creatures are amazing. And I think the story is a lot less confusing this time, or just the. the I guess the end game kind of, um, and the Golden Army is awesome, and just we get a little cameo of John Hurt, it just, it really, it just clicks, I think, and, you know, Liz, I think, is a great character who really comes into her own in this film. That was an 8 out of 10, by the way. Then I watched, um, kind of continuing the preparation for Christmas, I guess, I watched Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, I hadn't seen this in a long time. Yeah, I mean, the Home Alone, the first two, nostalgia-wise, they're great, but it's just, at the end of the day, they're not particularly amazing films. They're all right. They're fun. The scene where he beats up all the robbers, uh, well, these two guys, um, you know, in the, the house, is just so fucking terrible and overly long and just really just really bad and just not funny in the slightest and just it drones on it's like oh they got caught on fire oh I mean it's like he's quite an abusive child why not just call the police anyways yeah enjoyable film I think she's grown up it's just not quite as good as it but for the kids they'll enjoy it won't they 6 out of 10 again then day 49 I watched Excalibur um, which was, I thought was really awesome. I liked it a lot. It was, the set pieces were really good. The characters were great. It was, but, it was really hard to follow if you don't know the story of, like, you know, King Arthur, Merlin, etc. It was just like, what? Oh, okay, we've jumped ten years. Okay, oh, okay, now Arthur's been born. What? Who's this guy? You know, it was just a little confusing. I kept having to ask my mum, like, okay, so who's that? What's going on now? But it was really good. Really enjoyed it. Really, it was just a great story, one of the, told one of the better ways, but I realised I, I knew shit all about uh, King Arthur and Merlin and the Excalibur, <laughs> and all, all I really knew was from the animated Sword in the Stone film, um, but that's a 7 out of 10, would have been an 8 out of 10 if I didn't have had such a hard time following it, really my fault. Then for day 50, I watched David Fincher's The Game, which I loved, I thought this was really good really really fantastic movie although the ending I thought was kind of like unbelievable it's like really that's oh, that's the ending okay um but apart from that it was amazing no it was just cinematography was brilliant Michael Douglas was brilliant his transformation as a character it was just so mysterious and kind of creepy and just really loved it apart from the ending eight out of ten really would have been a nine if if maybe for a better ending um, anyways, yeah. And then day 51, I watched Commando. First viewing, this is, just to say, the edited version, the edited down version. This movie, it kind of sucks, but it's also awesome. Like, if you don't take it seriously, it's really fun. But, like, some of the stuff, just, like, the relationship between him and his daughter is really just stupid. And, like, I don't know, that little montage at the beginning was just words. And the character, the, the woman that, like, he kind of steals her car and then she like starts coming on following him around with on his mission to save his daughter i was like what why are you doing that she was magically just taking pilot lessons the ending was awesome it's a great the scene in the mall where he like picks up the telephone box was so fun yeah it was it was just a really fun movie don't take it seriously it's seven out of ten enjoyable and then for day 52 i watched disney's uh, the Sword in the Stone. Um, I I didn't really remember this at all. In fact, I'm not 100% positive I've ever seen it, but I'm sure I had. Um, 
But this is really good, really fun, really great characters, just, you know, classic story. Although a misleading title, I think, because there is no actual sword or a stone until the end of the movie. But Merlin is really awesome in this film. Just, yeah, really fun flick, 7 out of 10. Not one of Disney's best, in my opinion, but still really solid. And then for day 53, I watched kind of a random one. Uh, the Homecoming, A Christmas Story, which is, uh, for those who don't know, the TV movie that spun off the Waltons. Um, I didn't think I'd like this, but I kind of, me and Mum watched it. I just thought, you know, why not give it a shot? And I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was it was okay, actually. I mean, some of the acting from the kids was a bit shoddy, and you could, <laughs> the little ones kind of glancing into the camera every now and again. You know, a schmaltzy family kind of Christmassy tale of... Uh, you know, just a family during the um, Depression in the 30s around Christmas and uh, you know, it, it, it was a decent flick I got a little choked up gave it a 6 out of 10 it was, it was, it was, it was okay and uh, that was day 53 now for day 54 just today, watched Azumi 2 Death of Love um, as you remember, a while back April was it? April and May I watched Azumi 1. Really enjoyed that, so I've been wanting to check out the sequel for a while. Um, this wasn't as good as the first one, but I still liked it. The problem with it was that they had a different director, so it didn't have quite the visual flair that um, Azumi 1 had, and the action scenes were just kind of like really heavy-handed and just felt a bit sluggish. But other than that, I really enjoyed the plot. There was a lot of good character depth, some new good characters, but they were kind of underused, unfortunately. I really love the character of Azumi and just her story over the two films. And it's nice because it's kind of like one big story. Uh, but yeah, Azumi 1 had the upper hand, unfortunately. But it, it, was in, it was an enjoyable movie, but it wasn't like mind-blowing or anything. Gave it another 6 out of 10. But I really liked the ending, actually. Um, I thought that was really good. Yeah, that was day 54. Uh, for day 55, I watched House of Flying Daggers. I've not seen this in years, but just really is utterly amazing. I think it really, every fight scene is just absolutely brilliant, visually stunning, really just really colourful and eye popping. And the ending is, oh, I just, I just really love it. This is an eight out of ten, fantastic. I think it's better than Crouching Tiger and Hero. And then for day fifty six, I watched uh, the Last of the Mohicans. Uh, this is like one of me and mum's favourites to watch together. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really cheesy, but that's what makes it so good. And not because like it's so cheesy it's bad, but just like once you accept that it's kind of like a cheesy love story, it just, it comes together so brilliantly. And you can just get really into it. Yeah, that's an 8 out of 10, by the way. And for day 57, I watched A Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Craven's original, of course. I uh, had not seen this prior, but really just thought it was really good actually. Definitely stands out amongst the slasher flicks and the, the, the scene where there are girls getting thrown across the room. Pretty horrifying actually. Probably going to check out the sequels at some point, but not on my to-do list. The one I'm most interested in is uh, New Nightmare. Anyways, that is another 8 out of 10 for Nightmare on Elm Street. Then day 58 I watched Disney's Peter Pan. I uh, didn't remember a lot about this, but it's a really fun little flick. Not one of Disney's best, but it definitely, you know, it, it works. It's great. Um, I think from what I've read, it kind of misses out on the kind of original, is it a play? Uh, what they were going for, the sort of, you know, the trials of puberty and stuff. But it's still a really fun little film. and It's a really English movie, especially in the beginning, but it's, it's really fun. Uh, that's a 7 out of 10. Not amazing, but definitely worth the watch. For day 59, I watched The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. I recorded this off uh, Sky Movie Channels, so nothing to hold up. Um, this one, I didn't like Lion Witch and the Wardrobe. I thought it was a bit rubbish. But this one I actually really enjoyed. I think it uh, helped that it was, a, it was darker and it was a more... Uh, felt a bit more character driven as well and the kids acting had improved but not completely um, it wasn't perfect but uh, I thought the effects looked really good and uh, I just really liked the story that kind of tale of the you know the once great place now kind of crippled I just felt like this one came together a lot better than uh, the first one gave it a 7 out of 10 
day 60 I watched Desperado. Uh, this is the sequel to El Mariachi. This film is so much fun. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a balls to the walls, absolutely silly, ridiculous uh, action film. And for the budget and the time that Robert Rodriguez did it in, it looks, looks really great. It's just a really fun action movie. I really like it a lot. That's an 8 out of 10. Day 61, I watched Babylon 5 in the beginning. I thought this was really cool. It kind of... It was like how things... How the shaping of the world of the series came together almost. Getting to see where the characters were at the point and like how everyone all met up originally and some really fantastic action scenes and just... I thought it was really cool. That was another 8 out of 10. Peace and catch you on the next one.